Alright, hey guys, today we're doing a new tutorial and I'll be showing you how to create some really nice and easy light transitions in After Effects. So here is a quick preview that I made um, and you can see that we go from one clip, uh, which is this clip of the person on the cliff, and as the light goes through, the it fades to the bottom clip, which is the moon. So it is really nice and simple to create and it does look pretty nice. So this is the effect we'll be trying to make today. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So I'm going to start in a new composition. And I just wanted to say that we are 400 hours off, uh, only 400 hours from getting the channel monetized again. So we'll be posting a lot more and uh, we're almost there. So I'm going to start with a new solid. Uh, mine's 1280 by 720, which is just the size of my comp. And uh, once you have the solid set up, just hit OK. And then hop into your effects and presets. So over here you have a couple options. You can choose any preset you have or any plugin that you have that can generate a light in After Effects. So the most popular one is probably optical flares, but other options are null. Uh, if you have null, null light factory, you can use that, or any other plugin that can create a light. So for now we're gonna stick with optical flares. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the solid. And once it's in the solid, the only thing we really need to change is render mode to on transparent. And once that's set up, we can just go into options. And something really nice about optical flares is you can just select one of the presets already made. So if I go into light, I'm just going to select one of these. So I'll select this. And it completely makes it for me. I don't have to do anything uh, difficult. And just like that, we've generated the flare. So uh, uh, I know there were a ton of presets for optical flares online. So if you just go onto Google and you type in optical flare uh, presets, I'm sure you'll find a whole selection of different download links to some really nice uh, presets. So once we have the flare set up and we have it to on transparent, we're going to select the position X, Y, and we're going to put it right in the top corner like this. And then we're going to hit the keyframe button. So now I'm going to hit U on my keyboard, and that's going to bring up the keyframes. I'm going to go down around 2 seconds, and then I'm going to select this tool and put it in the bottom corner. Now this is just going to have the flare move directly and diagonally across the screen. So just like that, we have it moving properly. The only thing we're going to change um, to make it a bit smoother is we're going to highlight both of them, and we're going to right-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. That's just going to make it a lot smoother. So we have that set up. Now I'm going to go and find my footage. We have two images right here. I'm going to drag them into the comp and then I'm just going to scale them up so they fit. Alright, so we're going to start from this and we are going to fade to the moon image in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask. So we're going to go here. We're going to select the pen tool up here. And then we're going to create a pretty large box. So make sure you select it pretty far out so we can just drag it completely across. So what I mean is create something kind of like this. Oh, that was off. All right, so something like that. And then just zoom out even more and just make sure it's very wide and you have a lot of space to work with. So just make sure that you have one diagonal line that's crossing here and the rest is just very far off from the clip because when we set the mask feather we don't want these edges to be affecting the other sides of the clip. So once you have a nice diagonal line set up like that in a big square like this, we're going to double click and this is going to select the entire mask. And then we're going to go into here, we're going to hit M on the keyboard, M for mask. It's going to open this up, we're going to hit this down arrow. Oh, actually, uh, if you hit M, mask path is already there, but we're going to keyframe mask path. So once we have that keyframed, scroll over to our second keyframe up here, where our flare hits the bottom corner. And we are going to... Again, have this double clicked so we select the whole thing and drag it completely across. 
just like that. So it may not line up completely perfect, but that's why we have the mask feather tool. And you just want it to be generally in the same spot. So you see it is off a little bit, and that is because this has been easy ease. So to match it, this should also be set to easy ease. So when they're both set up, they should match pretty well. Uh, you may see that they are off a little bit, and we're going to fix that right up with the mask feather. So drag this up to somewhere like uh, between 80 and 90. So here is a pretty good value. And this is just going to make the transition look a lot smoother as it goes through. So now let me select off the mask and go through a preview. And you see we have a really nice transition and it does look really nice. And it was very quick and simple to make. Uh, if, if it does look still a little too rough or a little too uh, hard on the edges, just bring up the mask feather. And you can make it look a lot smoother. And play around with the flares because you can do this with any flare you want. Um, but that was the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have fun using this effect. It is really nice. Uh, thank you for watching and I will be posting a lot more so stay tuned.